Welcome back and um, we're going to continue on with keeping it clean with silicon. So in this little uh, quick tutorial I'm going to talk about tools initially, then we'll have a look at a demo model and then a real life work where I'm actually using the tools um, to clean up my work. It's one of the things I actually love to do is uh, cleaning up silicon. I know that's weird but we all have our little favourite bits. Now with the tools, I have, um, I guess, three main little kits that I love. This one here was my original one from Skewpix, um, and I just love every tool in it. This stabby tool is fantastic. Use it for all sorts of things. Uh, this one is like a scraper, mostly in grouting, but every now and again you need to scrape something off the top of a tile. With um, silicon work, this one is my absolute most favourite. So it's like a dental pick. I feel a bit like a dental um, hygienist cleaning up my work. That's fabulous. And this one is really great for um, if you want to lift off or remove some tiles. I don't use it very often. Um, but when I do, it comes in quite handy. Except when the, when the uh, glue has really cured, it's going to be tough. I might need to use... A craft knife or something else to pry it off and on um, something like a PVC pipe might even need a screwdriver. Uh, these ones I bought from um, Skewbeers in the US when I very first started uh, doing mosaics and it's been worth every penny. These are about three years old now. Then there are these, like, this is a, a three tool kit, primarily I think for lino cutting. I got these ones from 19 Mosaics in Australia, but they're readily available from art and craft stores. They've got nice sharp blades, great when you're working with things like terracotta, uh, pots, PVC pipes, and that sort of thing where you might just need to do an extra slice. Sometimes on the wood back as I do it as well, but you do need to take care so that you're not chopping up your little bits of wood. Then this wonderful little tool that I got from a dental pack um, from Merlin Mosaica in Canberra. It's an awesome tool, but do be careful that you um, get one as a good quality as this because it's got nice sharp end here. Some of the cheap ones are a bit rounded and so not going to work as well. It's a great little scraping tool everywhere and I use it all the time. It's fabulous. Okay, so that's my main tool kit. So let's now have a look at this model. I've tried to make a really gungy gooey mess here with some little bits of uh, daubs of glue in various places to see what we can do with it. Now um, this method works um, based on the type of glue, silicon glue you're using. I don't think it would be so great with uh, uh, the tough glues like liquid nails. You'd be probably wanting to use these guys a lot for that one because that's very, very tough. Um, with these ones, I'm using roof and gutter, which is this black stuff, and the white stuff is a um, marine flex glue, just to sort of show the difference. Fully cured. So um, when I look at the real life example, it's a piece that's not fully cured, and it shows you how much easier it is to clean it up within about the, I don't know, 12 to 24 hour time frame if your glue is a um, 72 hour cure glue. So let's have a look, the favorite bit. So look at this incredibly disgusting bit of chunk here. And what's important when you're cleaning is that you have to leave enough space to fit the grout. Grout is not an adhesive, but it does need space to fit. So if the, um, glue comes up uh, less than halfway between the tile, I don't bother removing it because there's plenty of room for the glue. But clearly, sorry for the grout, but clearly here, there's absolutely no room for anything. So this would be, represent a really bad hair day. So often, with just this bit, I can go in and slice or cut the glue with this little guy. It's a fantastic tool. Then cut the other side with it. Then you've got this little pokey, push me, pull you type part where you can just pull it out. You can see the great big glob coming out. 
And what a waste is that. And you can just grab it and pull it off. You can see there's heaps of room now there for the grout, although it's a bit wide. This little tool here, if you need to do a little scrapey clean up, is fantastic because it just fits straight in there and you can give it a nice little rubber dub dub to get rid of anything. If you get too carried away and remove some of the wood with it, you may find you need to reseal the wood. I did that once with um, Marine Flex where it wasn't, I had to lift a tile, wasn't happy about it, it took the layer of uh, ply off it as well. Um, so I had to reseal it and then re-glue. So you can see this is a really nice clean space. The cutting tool here is great if you end up with some, some glue here that's sort of edging your tile and you want to get rid of it and it hasn't quite come off. You can scrape it off with this, with this little guy. Because it fits in, it does a really good job. And you can see how it's taken off that really thin bit of annoying glue that you don't want to interfere with your grouting process. Then there's little bits and pieces on top here. You can just sort of scrape it off like that. Something nice and sharp. Get your awesome little baby wipes, which are great for your hands, great for silicon. And you can just then rub it, rub it off. Make sure you've got everything off it makes it all nice and clean you can see where you're going and there's plenty of room for the grout here the tiles are a little bit closer so it's a little more challenging but let's have a go at this tool to see how it goes now keep in mind this grout is cured so I'm going to do that let me cut it there and here uh, and by the way this silicon glue is roof and gutter and it has a lovely um, creamy consistency. So I test out all my glues to see um, when's the best time to, to do the cleanup. So with this one, you can see really any time, but some of them you might want to do sooner because the, the uh, glue is a little tougher to use. Here, I can do it here as well. So let's in a moment, have a look at that tougher one. This is such fun. Now this white one over here is uh, Marine Flex, which is much tougher in terms of consistency, um, not in terms of adhesion, than this roof and gutter. Because as you can see, I can't, I can't move those tiles at all. And they're, they're really in there tough. So here I can do the same thing. See, it's much tougher, much tougher in terms of the silicon that's there. So I might want to use this little sharp guy, um, but be careful you don't cut all the way into the wood. So, because you don't want to be re um, having to reseal. And also be careful not to chip your tiles, because we're doing metal and glass here. So I've cut through there a little bit tougher. Might need Mr. Push you, pull you on the other side. See, it's still quite tough. But it's coming. It's coming. But had I done this within 12 hours, 12 to 24 hours, it would have come away really quite cleanly. But there you go. You can see that's got plenty of space for the grout. Without a tile on top of it, this glue doesn't really do anything. So I can just... Um, pretty much take them off so then the question comes if it's so easy to remove like this how come it, it's um this is so much harder and that's because the glue we're going to get into the technical area here the glue works based on a vacuum so if there's a good vacuum between the two surfaces you've got adhesion um, because there's only one surface here, you've got nothing. Um, now here's some a big glob of silicon glue on the top of the tile, which is really, really tough. I have to, I have to push this quite hard. But because it's, um, it doesn't have anything on the top of it, it's coming off. This is the Marine Flex, so it's really, really tough. 
that one I, I, I'm intending to use for outdoors now, along with this um, roof and gutter, which is much easier and creamier to use. The other great thing about roof and gutter, it often comes in a whole range of colours, so you can match your, your glue and your grab. So you can do this. Some of it will come off during the um, grouting process, not always. And of course, worst situation, if it's really bad like this, you can use a safety razor blade to scrape the rest off. So I think that pretty much covers how to do a clean up. And as you can see, it's not as, as hideous as you might think once you have the great little tools, or the right tools to do the right job. And I, I just love all my tools. So let's have a look at one I've done recently. Um, this was glued last night. So the glue is still a little bit um, not quite cured. So it's going to be super easy to remove. So let me find a nice globby bit. Here we go. Can you see that? Hopefully, let me just hold it up so you can really see how much glob I've got in between here and here. So let's see how easy that is to clean off. And I'm just going to use the pick for that. So I do my cut it up the side. Super easy. This is the roof and gutter. Oh, yes it is. It's the roof and gutter. So I cut it off and now I'm just doing a bit of a pushy pushy and out it comes. So now I've got plenty of room for that grout to sit in. There's bits of globs here. Don't bother about that because there's still plenty of room for the grout. Here's another globby one. being a little tougher so a little cut down the side cut down the side turn it over with push me pull you and it comes out much easier see the dentists know what they're doing with our horrible old plaque on our teeth and out it comes super easy i hope you've enjoyed this and and you get some hints and tips on how to keep your uh, silicon glue all nice and tidy to help you with your grouting, um, removing any edges around here that might interfere with your next row of tiles, like this one here. Can you see that one I'm doing, the white one? I'm just going to put slide this underneath. Because when you slide underneath, just be careful that you don't get in under the tile. Otherwise, you'll break that, that vacuum seal and you won't have an adhesion. You can see these are really, really, really tight. Because this is very cured here, whereas this one is a little bit loose. I can feel a little bit loose. You may not be able to see it because I only glued that one yesterday. So that would be easier to pry off and clean up if I needed to. Here is a major problem if I decided oh, I want to change that tile. Um, so always think about what you're doing there. Okay, thank you.